Hello and welcome. It's time for me to show you another redstone machine. This one is very simple to build and I hope you will enjoy it. So this is what you can do with this machine. You insert iron ingots and you have a chance to win uh, other prizes when you do. And there is three different levels of prizes and uh, there is one in the top price, as you can see here, it's the jackpot, and you will get a lot of different items. And this is how we build it. You need uh, several randomizers, and this is one kind of randomizer, probably the easiest way to build a randomizer right now. You have a dropper facing towards a hopper, and inside a dropper, you put items. Items that stacks and items that won't stack. And the non stackable item, when they will get dropped into the hopper, this will count as a win. And the redstone signal will go through to the redstone repeater. I also use one of these, it's an item recognizer. It recognizes which item you insert into the hopper. In this case, it's an iron ingot. I just load uh, this hopper with 22 items of the item I want to accept as a payment. And what happens when you insert an item here is that the redstone torch will flicker for just a brief moment and the item will be able to drop into the chest. And just one item will be dropped. And it looks like this. So the the torch just flickers for just a brief moment. And the last thing is this one. It's a toggable uh, redstone clock. That's very simple to build and very fast. And it's just a comparator in the in this this state as you can see. And it's connected to a dropper and it will drop a lot of items. And when I use a pulse extender like this one connected to the uh, redstone clock and as you can see the redstone signal will be on for just a moment longer and you can extend uh, it but by just adding more repeaters if you want the signal to be on for even longer and if we look at everything together it looks like this you can see the randomizers you can see the pulse extender the redstone clock and the item recognizer is kind of hidden under there. And you can also see I have three randomizers connected to each other to be able to have different kind of prices. That's everything. Thanks for watching and if you want more information look in the description.